At that time there went forth a decree from Caesar Augustus that the whole world should be enrolled. This enrolling was first made by Cyrenus, the governor of Syria, and all went to be enrolled, every one into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and family of David, to be enrolled with Mary, his espoused wife, who was with child. And it came to pass that while they were there, her days were accomplished, that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him up in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were in the same country shepherds watching, and keeping the night watches over their flock. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood by them, and the brightness of God stood shone around about them, and they feared with a great fear. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy that shall be to all the people. For this day is born to you a Saviour, who is Christ the Lord in the city of David. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the infant wrapped in swaddling clothes and laid in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly army, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to men of good will. Uh, tomorrow I shall be preaching, that's uh, information on the threats really, at the 11 o'clock mass. Many of you will be coming to that, and you know, I think you can have too much of a good thing. So I'm minded this year to revive a tradition uh, from Malta. We have several knights and dames, the Order of Malta, and some Maltese people here, and that is to have the sermon at midnight mass uh, preached by a boy uh, bishop. Uh, and uh, if you want to hear my Christmas sermon, come back tomorrow at 11 o'clock and you will hear it. But, uh, Monsignor, on vous attend maintenant. Dearly beloved, today our Saviour is born, let us rejoice. Sadness should have no peace on the dark day of life. The fear of death has been swallowed up. Life brings us joy with the promise of eternal happiness. No one is shut out from this joy. All share the same reason for rejoicing. Our Lord, victor over sin and death, finding no man free from sin, came to free us all. Let the saint rejoice as he sees the palm of victory at hand. Let the sinner be glad as he receives the offer of forgiveness. Let the pagan take courage as he is summoned into life. In the fullness of time, chosen in the depth of God's wisdom, the Son of God took for himself our common humanity in order to reconcile it with its creator. He came to overthrow the devil, the origin of death, in that very nature by which he had overthrown mankind. And so at the birth of our Lord, the angels sing in joy, glory to God in the highest, and they proclaim peace to men of good will, as they see the heavenly Jerusalem, and they built from all the nations of the world. When the angels on high are so exultant at this marvelous work of God's goodness, what joy should it not bring to the lowly hearts of men? Beloved, let us give thanks to, the, to God the Father through his Son and in the Holy Spirit, because in his great love for us he took pity on us, and when we were dead in our sins, he brought us to life with Christ, so that in him we might be a new creation. Let us throw off all nature and all its ways, and as we have come to birth in Christ, let us renounce the works of the flesh. 
but Christian, remember your dignity. And now that you share in God's own nature, do not return by sin to your for former base condition. Bear in mind who is, the, who is your head and of whose body you are a member. Do not forget that you have been rescued from the power of darkness and brought into the light of God's kingdom. Through the sacrament of baptism, you have become a temple of the Holy Spirit. Do not drive away so great a guest by evil conduct and become again a slave to the devil, for your liberty was bought by the blood of Christ. Amen. Thank <laughs> you. 